The city of Nîmes makes a very attractive place to visit with its quiet pedestrian lanes running through the center, and especially because of the three major Roman historic sites. There's an ancient temple, there's a large amphitheater, and especially nearby is the famous aqueduct Pont du Gard. Nîmes is located in the south of France. Quite nearby are the cities of Arles and Avignon. And just further east, you've got Aix and Marseille, we are arriving in Nîmes this morning by a train from Avignon and we'll be taking you on a walking tour of the city. Upon arrival in Nîmes, exit the train station and walk a few blocks along the main busy street, Avenue Faucher, to a shady park and just beyond to the star attraction of town and the world's best preserved ancient Roman amphitheater. The most important structure in town. It forms an ellipse 145 yards long and 115 yards wide, and it's 70 feet high. Although it's smaller than the amphitheater in Rome, the Great Colosseum, or even the amphitheater in Arles, it's actually in better preservation than any of them. The arena is built of limestone blocks that are as large as 10 feet wide perfectly adjusted without any mortar to hold it together in that ancient Roman style. The exterior presents two stories, each of 60 arches. After the Roman days, the arena was converted into a fortress in the Middle Ages, and afterwards it was occupied by houses, and restoration has been continuously ongoing ever since. It's still used today for a variety of entertainments, including concerts and the French version of bullfighting, where the bull tries to chase the would-be matadors out of the ring and is not killed. Even when the arena is not open, you can stand inside the encircling arcade to enjoy the sensation of being inside a building that's 2,000 years old. Actually, we have arrived in Nîmes quite early in the morning. It's about 7.30 in November, here before sunrise, because this is the beginning of a long day that will continue on later to visit Pont du Gard, that colossal ancient Roman aqueduct. We've been staying in Avignon, so we left our hotel there to come to Nîmes before breakfast. It just takes 40 minutes to get here by train. You don't have to come this early. There are buses and trains that run later in the day, but we wanted an early start. Shops generally open at 10 a.m., so it will still be very quiet at this early hour with shuttered windows and just a few locals walking by on their way to work. But you stop and have a coffee, you take it easy, you look around at some odd statues, and before you know it, it's daylight. Place du Marché, the market square, is one of the central open spaces of the city with some nice cafes and restaurants, of course, around it. And in the middle, there's the statue of the alligator that reminds us of the ancient Romans who fought in Egypt where they encountered alligators before retiring to their homes in the Nîmes area. Thus, the alligators become a symbol of the city. Nîmes became a retirement area for the successful Roman soldiers, and the population grew to as much as 60,000 during the time of the ancient Romans. Originally in Roman times, there were temples to Augustus and Apollo. There was a basilica, a theater, a circus, an amphitheater, and an aqueduct. And there was ramparts, a major wall around the town. There was a forum and a central campus martius. This 2,000 year old city has developed in a typically European style with narrow lanes for pedestrians meandering in a casual grid that makes a delightful place to walk. It's an extensive zone of shops and cafes extending north of the arena with the main lane of Rue de la Spique running 10 blocks through its center. While the historic sites are attractive, you'll also find the shopping zone very enjoyable. Just meandering and people watching. We'll show you on the map the walking route that we're taking, starting out from the Roman Arena. And then we continue on north along the pedestrian lanes 
to one of the best preserved ancient Roman temples. And then we'll walk over to the canal area. There's fountains and gardens. And then through the center of town over to a modern shopping mall. We'll continue to another ancient Roman site, the Gate of Augustus, and back over towards the center, some beautiful squares, more pedestrian lanes, and then we head back the way we came towards the arena and the train station. Total distance, about three kilometers, just under two miles. The people are out shopping. You can stop and browse, maybe get a coffee. Say hi to these little kids going by. Perhaps while shopping, you might look for some denim clothing because that fabric was first created here and named after the city, which had been a major textile manufacturing location for centuries, producing silk and cotton. It's marvelous how Nîmes and most other historic European towns have reclaimed their old centers with major renovations in recent decades, turning what had been rundown sections into vibrant districts with great appeal. Keep strolling along Rue de l'Aspic and turn left on Rue General Perrier to the other great historic monument of Nîmes, Maison Carré. It forms a rectangle 29 yards by 15 yards. I'm standing in front of the best preserved Roman temple in France. We're in Nîmes, and this is a Roman temple called Maison Carré, which means the square house, and it's 2,000 years old. This temple was founded, they say, by the Emperor Augustus and built in honor of his two grandsons who became the rulers of the Nîmes area. This was an important part of the Roman Empire in the south of France. Maison Carré looks like a smaller version of the Parthenon in Greece, with tall Corinthian columns running around it and a classic facade topped by that triangular pediment. They could be standing on top of the Acropolis in Athens, but here it is in the south of France, a Roman homage to ancient Greek architecture. And for contrast, next to the ancient Roman temple is this very modern art museum designed by the firm of Richard Rogers, one of England's most important modern architects. Huge glass curtain wall and a canopy make an inviting facade for this modern art museum. There's a beautiful canal that runs through the center of town this dates back to the 18th century when the town needed some more fresh water to help power their industrial machines as well. It was a fabrics and silk producing area. There's a lovely promenade that runs right along the length of this canal, right in the heart of town, just a few blocks over from Maison Carré, the Roman temple. And there's a beautiful fountain park associated with it, similar to the more ancient aqueduct. It reminds us of the Roman Pont du Gard and 2,000 years ago when the Romans brought an aqueduct and the canals right into the center of Nîmes. Another vestige of ancient Roman rule is this statue of Emperor Antonino who reigned in the second century. Nîmes became a colony of the ancient Roman Empire and became important around the time of Julius Caesar by 23 BC, it was a major establishment of the Romans, and in particular, it was a retirement home for some of the successful upper-class officers. As Roman influence decreased in the fifth century, Christianity came in, and in 407, the town was pillaged by the Vandals and the Visigoths, and then the Saracens. In 1185, it came into the possession of the Counts of Toulouse. So along with all of those charming pedestrian lanes and ancient historic sites, there's also a modern shopping mall right in the heart of Nîmes. You've got your typical modern mall interior. The city has got something for everybody. And this mall has a good mix of shops. It's not only clothing stores. Maybe sit down and relax at the cafe with a light snack or you could have a convenient lunch. Adjacent to the modern shopping mall, we find a covered food market, Léal, typical of French cities. 
They've got some small supermarkets scattered around town, naturally, but this is more in the traditional style of the covered food hall. A wide variety of fresh produce and meats and packaged foods, all under one roof. From the Central Market, we're walking a couple of blocks east towards the third major historic landmark of the city. During the reign of Emperor Augustus, Nîmes became quite important and a defensive wall was built around it. Part of the wall still remains with the Gateway of Augustus, built in 15 BC. When you examine the gate, you'll see there are four arches, four entry points, two large ones in the middle for vehicles and two on the side for pedestrians. Ancient Nîmes was a busy and crowded Roman city. Lots of chariots, lots of traffic, and lots of people walking. Just like today, they separated the vehicles from the pedestrians. A clever system. And a statue of Augustus greets Romans as they enter his city. Nearby, this old-fashioned covered shopping lane resembles a Parisian passage of the 19th century. Many parts of Nîmes look like they could be a neighborhood in Paris with that French atmosphere of the sidewalk cafes and lively streets. The scenic Place aux Herbes has always been a busy gathering place and location of the vegetable market and setting for the town cathedral, Notre Dame, built in the 11th century. There are a whole variety of kinds of streets in the heart of Nîmes. The main busy area is down towards the train station, the Avenue Fourcher, and there we've got some department stores, fast food, little boutiques, all kinds of commerce going on here, a wide boulevard with trees along it, very pleasant area, one of several districts in the heart of Nîmes that you'll have some good fun exploring. Having seen what an attractive place this is, perhaps you'll be tempted to spend a night or two and fully experience what Nîmes has to offer. There are some excellent hotels in the city. Here's the Imperator Concorde. It's a four-star deluxe property and not far from the canals and the Roman temple. It has a beautiful interior. Even if you're not staying here, you're welcome to come in and have a meal in the restaurant, perhaps have breakfast if you're here in the morning. Enjoy the lounge. There's an old-fashioned elevator in this hotel. Of course, the interior is very much up-to-date, friendly place, reasonable prices. A more modern hotel is the Novotel Atria. This is located downtown, closer to the train station. Perhaps a little bit more of a businessman's hotel, but it's welcoming to the casual visitor as well. Part of the very large French hotel chain Accor. Novotel is one of their real quality properties. As you see, the lounge and lobby areas are very modern, comfortable, clean, and functional. Here too, there's a restaurant that's open to the public. And it's so close to the train station, it makes for very easy access. Right in the center of Nîmes. The hotel is also close to the bus station, adjacent to the train station. And very often you'll find the buses are more convenient than train for reaching certain destinations. Nîmes has recently created a very innovative bus tram rapid transit network. It goes around the old town on a dedicated six kilometer lane with many of the advantages of a light rail tram, except it's a rubber tired bus that has a lot of flexibility. It can drive on normal streets as well. It's proven to be a big success with ridership much higher than projected. And the system extends into the suburbs connecting with nearby towns. And there are plans to extend it eventually to Uzez, which would be very convenient for the traveler. In our case, we took the standard public bus service. We were heading to Pont du Gard. Be sure to look at our movie about that adventure in our series on the south of France. We have many more movies about Provence and the south of France in our collection. We'll be taking you to the stone village of Le Beau. Have some crepes down to Nice, the beach, the old town. We'll see it during the daylight and take you back there at night. We'll be visiting historic sites and meeting the people. Pont du Gard, ancient Roman aqueduct.
The quaint village of San Remy will charm you on market day with street music. You'll see shop dogs and ancient arcades. The daily joy of life in the streets is one of our specialties. We'll do some downtown shopping and enjoy traditional recreation. All the best of southern France. Look for it in our collection. If you enjoyed the movie, please make a comment down below. It really helps us spread the word. Thank you.